All right, so we're gonna do a stuffed pork shoulder today. So I'm gonna just chop up some garlic and some rosemary. This is gonna be for our stuffing. I'm gonna uh, chop up a little bit of the ends of the leeks, which I'm gonna go in for the sauce. I've uh, cleaned the leeks, so I've, st I've stripped them and cleaned them. Uh, chopped up some celery here. Now I got my pork shoulder. I got the butcher to bone it for me and to butterfly it. Butterflying it means just adds a couple slices so it's easy to open up. Pork shoulder is a very fatty cut, but it's got a lot of tendons in here. If you cook it properly, it is a really delicious piece of meat. Now uh, I'm trimming off some excess fat inside the roast because it is a very fatty cut. You're not going to get all the fat out. The fat is that flavor. But any big chunks of fat I'm going to take out. So when you slice the roast, you're not getting these big pieces of fat in your slice. Because nobody really likes that. So we trim off any excess pieces of fat, big chunks, just give it a bit of a carve here and a carve there. And uh, then what I'm going to do is get some rosemary and some garlic, I'm in a bit of seasoning, I'm going to uh, sprinkle all around, I'll put sun-dried tomatoes and some leeks. Now I'm going to roll it up. With the, uh, the shoulder here, there's going to be a little piece in the end you can kind of push in to block up the end part just like that, we just jam that right in there, and then we're going to trust the, uh, the roast. To roll it all up, stick it all in there, it's got to be nice and tight tight as you can. I get a piece of string. I got some butcher string. I just asked my butcher for a little extra piece. He just gave it up to me. It's not a problem. They often do that. It's nicely trussed. Now I got about two o'clock. We start to preheat in the pan. Water beads. Get it right in there. I'm going to brown this on all sides for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, just want it nicely browned. I have it on uh, just over a medium heat. Don't want it too hot because you don't want it to burn. So uh, it's browning nicely. Now in a bowl I've got some uh, cracked black pepper, some uh, spicy seasoning, some cumin. I've mixed fresh garlic and fresh rosemary. So into the pan I've added some leeks and the celery that we chopped up. We're going to season it up. I'm going to add half a bottle of white wine. Now the pot's nice and hot. As soon as the wine goes in it starts to deglaze almost instantly. So it's uh, deglazed quite fast. Um, white wine's all around, it's pulling off all those lovely flavors that we've caramelized in the pork onto the bottom of the pan. I got one can of crushed tomatoes, I'm going to put a half in here and a half in there. And then uh, I soaked some lima beans last night, so they've been soaking in the fridge all night, so they've expanded quite nicely. Um, I'm going to put them right into the, uh, the mixture here. Give it a stir up. There's going to be lots of flavor coming out of the pork that's going to go into those beans, and the acidity from the tomato and the wine are going to help break down the uh, fibers in the shoulder. It is a tough meat. Now we're going to uh, brace this on top of the stove. So I have this on a medium high heat. Now in this pot, I've peeled some sweet potatoes. I've put them into the pan here with uh, uh, a few, about uh, four ounces of chicken broth. Got it nice and hot. When the whistle went off, I switched it from my pan and got it right on top. We've been braising now for, it's now four o'clock, so we've been braising for an hour and a half. I started my rice. I put my rice right on top for Stanley cooking. Now, uh, it's 20 minutes later, we're on good to go. So we started this browning the meat at about two o'clock. It is now uh, 20 after four and dinner's ready. So we have, uh, I'm gonna let the meat here sit here for a minute. There's not a lot of juice that you're gonna lose when you cut this, because it is a braised piece of meat, but let it sit to cool down a bit, and then start to slice it. And man, is this tender. It is just falling apart before I can even cut it. Look at that. So um, cut it up nicely and serve it for dinner. So we got uh, nicely braised pork shoulder. It is so tender and juicy and flavorsome, this meat. The onions have gone into the middle of the meat, and that's the way we like to do it at Chef Warren's house. Happy cooking.